me. Leave. Leave. Because this mohawk ain't working out on TV. <clears throat> Good hey. morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. <laughs> it's chilly on the Chill Spot. I'm Lori. <laughs> I'm glad you're back with us. I am too. I'm, I'm in better this morning. What is it? October 9th. It is October the 9th, and tomorrow starts the World Mental Health Day. Oh my God, my kid gets married in 10 days. I know. If this is the 9th, he mm -hmm. gets married on the 19th. Oh my God. Are you goodness. ready for it? I'm pretty excited, actually. Well, some of these things may help you out because no. you may be stressed out to the max. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not that stressed. Not that stressed. What is this uh, about today? What are we talking about today, well, Corinne? Come we're on. We're actually talking about mental health. And the theme this year is supporting a good mental health in your workplace and suicide uh, prevention. When you turn on the TV, there's more and more people, you know, that's going into their working oh. Places and you know, so we need to kind of make um, make the public aware that help is out there. It's not like back in the when we're growing up. It's like a voodoo. You didn't talk about pregnancy. You didn't talk about anything. But um, that's what we're going to talk health. about. Yeah. Well, it's not uh, very well talked about today, and no. yet we've got so many people no. in this world struggling, and it yeah. uh, seems to get harder and harder. Uh, it is as. Uh, yes. As we face mm -hmm. bigger and bigger challenges as a country, as a profession, exactly as individuals, um, yep. it's there's a lot of stresses these days that take mental toll on um, on folks who otherwise wouldn't necessarily think mental illness. It's true because I mean, there's days I get to I get up and I get depressed, and you you push through it. And I know there's you know there's a lot of outreaches that I can reach out to them and say. You know, I can call you if I'm really having a, a bad day. And that's what we really want to stress today is never give up on yourself. There's, there's, you're, you're not, um, I'm trying to think of the right word. You're, you're not abnormal for feeling this way because everybody has, has bad days. Everybody wishes they would have made this decision or that decision. But when I was doing some research, there is more than 200 types of mental illness. I was just looking at your paper here and reading this 50% of mental illness starts at the age of 14. Yeah, that was a shock. Wow. Wow. Yes. 50%. 50%. Of mental illness starts around the age of 14. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. there's certainly plenty of pressures on kids today. There is. Different, different mm -hmm. than what you and I had. Exactly. Okay. We had pressure, mm -hmm. but not this kind of pressure. The other it's thing. It's totally different. Oh, it is. It, it is. It is. It is. And, mm -hmm. and stressful for parents. For mm -hmm. I just, uh, I have some friends that have uh, younger children that are suffering from depression or some mm -hmm. type of mental, um, condi mental illness. Uh, and it is sad for the parent. It's sad mm -hmm. for the children. And our mental health uh, system, I shouldn't even say system. We don't mm -hmm. have a mental health system right. in this country. And that, shame on us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talk about people that go in. We had active shooter right. at our conference, mm -hmm. uh, CNA Fest in August. Uh, Stan Spitek was there to do active shooter. And it's sad that we have to... You have to resort. We to have that. to deal with that kind of issue, but even in our member centers, I mean, we've right. had incidents, and mm -hmm. and uh, you know, Cindy Krantz mm -hmm. lost her life yeah. uh, to an active shooter who came in mm -hmm. a facility, and mm -hmm. mental illness is just it's just it's, it's something everywhere. that and mm -hmm. people don't seek the treatment because exactly. of the stigma, and right. so right. you know the 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 but the treatment is lacking. I it don't is. think people really understand how to deal with mental illness. But one thing for certain, if you have a friend, reach out to your friend. And if you have a friend you know is struggling, you reach out to that struggling friend because oftentimes it's so lonely. It is. And, and that's something that, um, that, I wrote, that I wrote down was things to remember is that depression does not have a look to it. 
you know, you're not going to see the disability by just talking to someone because it doesn't have a look. Mm -hmm. You can't identify it anyway. Mm -hmm. And then don't be afraid um, to talk about it. Speak about it as much as possible. Um, it helps to reduce the stereotype about it, that stigma about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't have to try to fix it. Just be available, like Lori said. Reach out to um, your friends, your coworkers, to your families. Um, be a safe, judgmental, free space -free. to yep. them. You know, I mean, just don't try to fix them because there's no, there's no fixing. Just let them vent to you. Keep your comments um, to yourself and just, you know, be that shoulder that they can, they can count on. Well, you know, Monday we covered um, the... Stop uh, out bullying. Yep, stop mm -hmm. bullying. And I believe so much of this youth suicide that we're seeing across the land is, has mm -hmm. a lot to do with the bullying as well. So yeah. this stuff is real. These problems are real. And what another thing that really got me was the United States has the highest rate of mental illness out of 14 countries. Yeah. That that is bizarre to me. You know, out of 14 that we rank the highest. There's a problem and we need to see if we can um Bunch of crazy find a Americans. <laughs> It is. I, I, I mean, it's. Oh, it's it, it just blows your mind when you. Well, it's you know. You know, this we have uh, become a. I don't know. I don't. Don't get me started. Our show's not long <laughs> enough to get me going on some of these uh, kind of rants because I could go on forever. But right. PTSD, we've seen a lot of that mm -hmm. just in our uh, military and the things yeah. that they've gone through mm -hmm. over the last twenty years in mm -hmm. the wars and. Or nearly 20 years now and yeah. um, which seems incredible to believe but um, you know I've tried over the last few years since the Joplin tornado to yeah. because friends of ours uh, mm -hmm. that have experienced that um, uh, had challenges with PTSD and I know they didn't want to seek help right. they didn't want to to admit that they were had weakened it. by the experience but we can't predict what's going to happen to us. No. You know, sometimes our choices we make lead us to unhappiness, but right. there's all kinds of events that are out of our control. And right. so, you know, we're only human. And um, I believe that uh, there's probably no one immune to the fact that they have suffered some type of depression oh, yeah. at some point in time in their sick. life. So whether you're young or old or right. somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. I've heard you say this many a times. You can't control the situation, but you can control how you react to it. Yeah, that's true. And and and, and sometimes, but mm -hmm. the control to react to something like this, Corinne, is, right. is really seeking someone. And again, it does not mm -hmm. have to be a medical professional. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. certainly that is something that we would highly recommend if you right. can find someone you're comfortable with mm -hmm. but more importantly find you know reach out to someone who doesn't judge you um oftentimes that's not your parents mm -hmm. oftentimes you're you're better to reach out to someone who doesn't judge you who doesn't exactly. um who doesn't um, compromise your choices or make you feel bad about the way you feel uh, we're great people inside and some of us just get down occasionally some go suicide rate is through the it's, roof it so is. it goes beyond depression anyone who feels the, mm -hmm. the the need to take their life you know obviously there's there's there is, bigger and, issues than just yeah. being bummed out or depressed yeah. and we're going to talk more about um suicide on our next show on friday good lord is there any months where everything's positive no it's like the whole month of october Jeez. is like awareness of every, every everything breast autism yes Something else I saw um, the other day too. We actually had one of our our groups from Oklahoma, Sequoia Manor, actually did a walk for domestic violence just recently. Wow! So that's in the month of that's October. That's the thing I can't believe still happens. Yeah, it's there though. I just cannot you know? believe it. Mm -hmm. I saw an actress got arrested over the weekend. I didn't know who she was because <laughs> I don't know all these shows and. Good Lord, there's too many shows. But anyway, she had been arrested for domestic violence and, you know, secret. Oh, I shouldn't even say that. But 
uh, men, let's go stop beating on the women and women stop beating on women. And, you know, I yeah. guess anything goes now. Now, they do say that there's quite a bit of women that are abusers well, yeah. to their men, but uh, you don't really, you know, see it. So it kind of goes hand in I hand. I guess if it has to happen. Yeah. Well, let me get a good punch yeah. and then make sure yeah, I can outrun them. them. <laughs> I don't have any challenge with the women on the on the uh, on the top, on the better end right. of that deal because right. it's just it's it's not a it's not a laughing a laughing oh, God, matter. No. But sometimes not you you have to laugh with all the issues that you deal with on a day on a day to day basis. It makes me sad. There's often times, and we know it still exists because. Mm -hmm. I don't understand when we have our key to quality awards. It seems like every year or two, there's some one of our CNA mm -hmm. winners who can't come because her husband won't let her. Mm -hmm. This is 2019. Yeah. Are there still men who don't let they, they their wives or girlfriends do things? I think mine's happy when CNA. <laughs> I can't imagine. He comes up because he's like, imagine, there's your door, get out. I can't imagine him getting in your way of being out and about. No, he's very, he's very supportive. But just, um, just keep an open mind. Um, you know, you're, you're not crazy. You're not, um, you're not falling off the deep end. Everybody has these emotions of crying and being upset from time to time. You know, you hear us all the time saying, reach out to us if you have any questions. Um, we are a good support system, but we cannot help you unless you reach out to us. Um, you know, Lori has stated over and over, you can PM her, uh, just give her a few days to answer. You can contact me. Um, our whole board of directors yeah. are, um, yeah. would be open to counseling oh, yeah. or helping Definitely. any of our members. So Definitely. if so you're just watching out, out there, us. at least know we're in your corner. And if mm -hmm. you need us, we're here. And if you need a listening ear, uh, yeah. you'll find that here at NACA. Yeah. In Between fact, the board I, and the yeah. members and the mm -hmm. staff, we, we got you covered yeah. to the best there's, of there's our There's quite a few times I have reached out to my own, um, some of my board of directors and they get me through and they tell me to pull up my big girl panties, tie an extra knot and, and get out there. And um, we could do the same thing to you. So just, just remember that we are here for you and uh, we'll finish up the rest of mental health um, awareness on Friday. So make sure you come back and see us. And are you ready? I'm going to be here Friday. You're going to be here yeah, Friday. Yeah, I'll be Yay! here Friday. So uh, I think we're closing the show, right? Yep. And I almost forgot the closing. <laughs> I've been away for so long. but Just remember, you, you matter. matter.